This first exercise is based on the first pages of my new book, The Truthful Art. If you read the preface of the book, I'm going to just uh, go to this PDF document and go to the preface. Here I describe a little, a very simple exercise of data exploration, how to use graphics to explore a data set. Now, a couple of things before we get started. If you don't have the book yourself, or if you don't want to buy the book at all, you can download these pages, these first pages of the book for free from my website. So if you go to thefunctionalart.com, the functional art is the title of my first book. If you go to thefunctionalart.com, and then up here on the upper menu, you go to the truthful art book. If you click on that, there will be a link over here, a couple of links that will let you download the uh, first 40 pages of the book for free. So you will be able to follow along this lesson uh, even if you don't have the book with you. And now, if you want to download the data set that we are going to use for this little exercise, you can also download that from my website. If you go to the tutorials resources page over here, uh, this still needs to be updated, but you can download this data set already. If you go from this part to this part over here, data from the truthful art, prologue, Miami Dade schools. If you click on this link over here, this is a Dropbox link that will let you download uh, the uh, CSV file, which is the file that we are going to use in this lesson. Okay, so you just go here, then you click on download, I'm going to just move over here, download, direct download, and you will be able to download this file uh, to your computer without any problem. Now, any, anyway, so what is this file about? Let me just go back to my website. Uh, I, there are other tutorials over here. I will discuss these a little bit later, perhaps uh, this one here, the Illustrator video tutorial, because this one complements the content of this lesson uh, quite well. Anyway, so I am, I'm going to show you the, the data set that we are going to use. So this data set basically, as I describe in the preface of the Truthful Art, uh, when I moved to Miami, one of the first things that I was interested in learning about is uh, school quality, right? So I went to the Miami-Dade School Systems website and I downloaded a data set of school quality. So this, this file that you have over here, this CSV file that you can download from my website. Anyway, so this file has 400 schools or something like that. And you have all the names of the schools over here. All right? And then the uh, first variable that you have over here is the board district that each one of these schools belongs to. So Miami is divided into nine board districts, okay? And they are numbered over here. Then you have the school grade. The school grade is a letter grade that the Miami-Dade County assigns to each school in the county, depending on different variables. Uh, this is basically an aggregated a metric that Miami-Dade County has created. Don't ask me about how they created that aggregated measure, but in any case, each school in the county receives a letter grade of A, B, C, D, etc. Then these numbers that you have over here next is uh, this one here, reading 2012, is uh, the percent of students from each school who could read well in 2012, right? And the same number for 2013. So this is the percent of students from this school who could read well in 2013. The next one is the percent point difference, the percentage point difference between 2012 and 2013. So there's a decrease of two percentage points in reading a, a, in this school between those two years, percent of students who read well. And then you have percent of students who could do math well on each school, right? So this is 71% of students of this school here could do math well at the appropriate level, let's say, if you are, they are in second grade, they were doing math at the second grade level. And then the same number for 2013, right? So this is the percent of students who could do math well in 2013. And then the percentage points difference between 2012 and 2013, four points. There is a four point increase in the in terms of amount of students, percentage of students who could do math well at the appropriate level. So how to bring these data to your, uh, to, to Insight? Remember that before I launch Insight, this is the Insight. Uh, interface. So let's bring the data into Insight. In order to do that, first of all, you need to download the data. Okay. So remember, go to my website, go to the tutorial resource, click on that link here to download the uh, the data set. You click on that, it will take you to the Dropbox folder, and then you click on the upper right corner, download this little arrow, direct download, and that will download that to your computer. Save that file, Schools Miami Dade CSV. CSV stands for comma separated 
values. Let me just increase the size of that so you can read it. CSV is comma separated values, which is a very common kind of file in statistics and data visualization and infographics. Okay, It's something that uh, programs like uh, Microsoft Excel and many others can read uh, easily. Okay, so It's actually that file that I have open over here, schoolsmiamidate.csv. So save that file, for example, to your desktop or anywhere else you want, and then go to Insight, go to the File menu of Insight, and then after that you will get a, a you will get a drop down menu, import data. You click on on import data, and once you do that, you will get a window that will enable you to bring the data a, a, to the program. Okay, you will need to tell the program where you have saved the data. If you save it in the desktop folder, just go there, or you have it somewhere else. Just click on open and find the file.